Hey, what's up guys? Spartan Gaming here, and we are back today on Ark Survival Evolved, and today I have another small tutorial for you guys, and today I'm actually going to be showing you, well, I wonder how many times I can say today. That's what the uh, tutorial actually is, but no. Besides that, um, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to transfer, um, so this can be taken place in any of the three arcs, that's what these are, obelisks, arcs, glowy things, green, verde, you know, rojo, red, yep, yeah, that, you know, blue. Yeah, those. So any of the three, doesn't matter. Also, once you transfer in, so say I transferred stuff into the green obelisk, I could pull those items out of blue. Um, it can do whichever or. does not matter. You can, you know, in a cross if you want to call it. Um, either way, it works. Now, this guy is just going to poop 30 million times. Awesome. So, now when it comes to transferring, you can transfer any items. You can actually transfer transfer individual items of whatever you want. As long as it's an item, you can put it in here. Except for maybe like the survivor hat, maybe. I'm not quite sure on that one. Or the rex skin. I, th I think you can have one rex skin in here at a time. Um, but yeah. So that's, that's that. Um, next is you can store dinos. As many dinos as you want. Um, any dino at all, as many, up to that. Um, and thirdly, what almost last thing, is to put the water dinos, I've heard you have to actually take them to the red obelisk, and because it's not actually having to be on the platform to transfer dinos, they just have to be, you know, in the radius around. It's like a radius out to maybe here or so, give or take. Um, as long as the dinos are within the radius, you can transfer the dinos. So what you have to do is take the aquatic dinosaurs to the red obelisk under that. That's why there's that little, like, cave in under it. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to go over is, you know, why would I transfer? Well, if you want to transfer your single-player world things, you can put them into the arc, and you can actually take them to another single-player or non-dedicated, or host-dedicated even. Um, so between non-dedicated and host dedicated, you can transfer in between those as much as possible. Um, but even myself, I'm a bit confused on the dedicated because I've heard you can transfer between dedicated, uh, but I've also heard you can't. So if you know for sure on that, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know because not only would I like to know, I'm sure there are some people watching this video that would also like to know. So with all the factual information bullet points, blah blah blah, bullshit aside, I'm now going to specifically show you how to put items in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to come inside of the terminal. Um, to actually go to the terminal, you can press Y or you can actually press X. And it'll automatically open that up. And this actually counts as an inventory. So, because of this inventory, you can actually put individual items in here, as you can see. So other people could come you know, walk up and go, oh, hey, look, a Rex egg, let me just take this. That is not putting it in the arc. That is putting it inside of the terminal right here, this inventory. That's the same inventory that you have to put the stuff in here to summon the Broodmother. What you have to do is actually go just above it. You click up. As you can see, there's transmit arc data. You click on that. And as you can see here, there's actually some extra stuff I have stored that I haven't taken out because it's useless. So, you're wondering, oh, do I have to store, you know, individual items? No, no, you don't. You can transfer stacks. So I could put this 50, but first I'm going to show you guys how to put it in here. So, you go down and down again, and there's a transfer to arc button. Press that. Yes, you have to press it every time, sadly, but that's how you transfer it. And it's the same thing with stacks. So, if I click on these trank darts, transfer to arc, transfer the whole stack. Transfer these trank arrows, transfers the whole stack. Same thing with food. I can get it off my hotbar. Transfer the stack. Same thing with tools. Transfer the stack. So, with items aside, you know, here you go. Take from arc while I uh, take these out. I want to start going over the dinos because, you know, that's the next thing on the list, which is pretty much the last. Um, for dinos, you need to make sure that you have taken all of the items off of the dinosaur that you want. So, per se, the saddle. You want to take the saddle off of the dinosaur and put it inside of the arc, not the terminal, the arc. And once you get the saddle in there, that's when you can go and tame this dino. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take the saddle, but I'm going to relieve the rest of the shit on this Tyranodon. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, I've got to go up here first. Bam, bam, bam. Transfer to arc. 
what you're gonna do from here is again go to transmit arc data upload creature data as you can see green reborn 144 pteranodon shows its stats on the right side you're gonna click upload dino accept and everything that was on it and if you left the saddle on it will be right here here's all the items take that now I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna go ahead and grab his saddle Oh, game lag. Oh, stop it. Make from arc, and then you can go ahead and click download creature data. Click green reborn, download dino. Where's he at? There we go. And it'll pop up somewhere around here. Obviously, you know, just around in this circle. That's why I spun around. Was like, oh, where's he at? I'll go ahead and put all of his stuff back on. And lastly, there is a way to uh, transfer your character. So, oh, why are you flying around, you son of a bitch? Why? <laughs> eh. Let's leave it to you to ruin things. So, if you wanted, you could actually transfer your character. So, say I'm in a host dedicated world, uh, playing with some people, and I'm, I'm, I've decided I'm tired of this world. So, I transfer all my dinos in. Um, into the arc. I have all of my tools, everything, but now I kind of want to keep my character, you know, I don't want to start over. What you can actually do is click access terminal up to transmit arc data again, and you're actually going to upload survivor data. I'm not going to click accept, obviously, because I'm not going to fuck myself over. I have no idea if I accept this and remake a character in this world, if I'll be able to get back into the same tribe, or if it will delete the tribe I was in. I'm not sure, and I don't want to try it because, you know, it's just an unnecessary hassle. But that's how you can do it. And then there's the same thing with download creature data, I believe. No, there should be another option when you come and do this. I've done it one time. So you can actually upload dinos, items, and character. And you all you have to do is, you know, whatever world you want to take that out of, come to the terminal, whether red, blue, or green. Come over here, and you can take it back. So it's an awesome thing to do. A lot of people are kind of iffy when it comes to transferring a lot of people ask me about it so i figured i'd make a video to help you guys out so if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful remember to smash that like button if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible and thank you guys for watching remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more videos and stuff and things so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time